Hey guys, it's uh, July 27th, 2019, and it's David here. Figured I would show uh, what I got garage sailing uh, this weekend. So here we go. We're going to start. I went to uh, a few sales. I picked up these Disney records or uh, animated records. This is a Bambi and the Three Little Pigs, six... Uh, six stories from that these older records for a dollar each um and i threw them up on ebay i think i'm asking maybe 9.99 for one and 11.99 for the other seems to be about what they go for not a whole lot but at a dollar each and shipping media mail might make four or five bucks a piece after fees and everything and i picked up call of duty advanced warfare for the ps3 um it is used but they go for about $7.99. I picked that up for $2. Probably not a great buy, but um, I picked it up anyways and threw that up there. I picked up uh, Season 1 of The Walking Dead on Blu-ray, still with the wrap on it. So uh put that up for $10. I picked that up for 3 Again, not a ton of money, but I just saw them and figured, well, I'll pick them up for a few bucks. At that same sale, I also picked up this guy which is a set of Japanese opera glasses made by a company called Eagle Eye. And uh, I saw Japan on those and figured they would probably be worth a pickup and asked the guy what he wanted. He wanted $2 for them. So I picked these two DVDs and this up for $7. And uh, they go for about $30 on eBay. So I threw those up there probably make a little bit of money off those after shipping they're fairly light so probably going to be six or seven dollars to ship uh, so that's a decent twenty dollar buy when they do sell and then i picked up um, some old hand planes from actually the same guy i got the records from except for one of these and uh i paid twenty dollars for the four of them all together which is not too great uh, this Miller Falls one is a number 16, and they go for a little bit over 20, basically 20 plus shipping on eBay. So I threw that one up. The other three are a little bit newer. I was hoping they were going to be older. This one doesn't have, might be a little bit older, but it doesn't have any information on it. This is a Craftsman, which goes for about 15 on eBay, and this obviously is a newer Stanley. Um, and they go for about $10 a piece, which really is not worth listing. So I may try to sell them on Craigslist for 5 bucks a piece to, to get some money back or just keep them. I uh, do like old hand planes or just hand planes in general, and they're pretty collectible. So they may be a, a flea market item or, you know, just not the greatest buy. But if I get my money back off the one, the rest I'll have to do. Now, uh, to get to the stuff that you guys really want to see I picked up quite a bit of jewelry all this jewelry came from two sales one that I actually went to Wednesday night I saw the ad on Craigslist and sent the guy a text and uh, just said hey you know I uh, I'm interested in the stuff that you had for sale I was wondering if there's any way I could come by and take a look and he said yeah that would be fine so I actually went by the night before the sale and got to pick through a couple of jewelry boxes um, all of the jewelry here pretty much turned out to be what I thought it was there was one piece right here this hoop earring that's marked I don't know how well you can see it but it is marked 14k on there but it appears to say something right below it i'm not sure if that is gp or not i uh don't have my test kit out and so i believe this is gold plated it doesn't look to be very high quality and so i am assuming this is not gold so i'm going to set that aside but aside from that all this stuff is marked um 925 or sterling Quite a bit of it's made in Italy and I put together a box at the sale uh, the first one that I went to which is actually where pretty much all of the sterling is from except for maybe a couple pieces 
and then some of this gold as well and asked them what they want for it and they said six dollars so they actually gave me a price of like ten dollars on this one hand plane that I bought at the same sale and uh six dollars and four dollars on some yarn and stuff that I bought and uh I just didn't even bargain. I just gave him 20 bucks for everything because it was a, a good price on the jewelry. So you can see some of these nice uh, pendants. They're definitely, I would say, vintage. And some earrings marked Stir, Sterling. And a bracelet that's marked 925 on there. Some of this stuff looks like maybe not. It's marked sure how well you can see that but it is marked uh, some of it doesn't look maybe all the charms might not be silver but either way it'll all have to be tested before it's sold anyways although I plan on holding it for quite some time nice little brooch I believe uh, most of this jewelry was from the guy's grandmother so it's most of it's fairly old a lot of these necklaces and such are uh, are italian so it doesn't really add to the value because most of this will probably be scrapped unless somebody has an interest in it but it's usually what what happens with it then at that sale i also picked up this ring which looks very old it's very small, like a, almost like a, oops, almost like a pinky ring. Uh, it doesn't, obviously you can see I have big fingers, but it doesn't fit me, I don't think, at all. Maybe partially on the pinky, so I believe it's a woman's pinky ring, or just very, very small person with a, some sort of, sorry, that's blurry, white little stone, maybe a mother of pearl, or... I'm not not exactly sure and then this little 10 carat chain which is sorry trying to get that cleared up very uh, very small this is marked 14 carat turkey actually it may not be 14 it's marked uh, yeah AU 14 K so that's the atomic symbol for gold 14k it's rose gold and yellow gold so that threw me off a little bit then at the other sale I spent $11 and I picked up all of this from a very nice lady and uh, she knew that these two pieces match this bracelet and necklace she said she bought them at Kohl's and they're marked 14k then and those were she wanted $5 for the two of those which I gave her and uh then I spent another $6 total, so I spent $17 on all of the jewelry. This is actually 120 gold filled, and I picked that up at the sale where I paid 6 bucks for everything because the guy actually, it was about 9.15, I was picking through stuff and he said he was tired and uh, wanted to go to bed, so I just grabbed the last couple pieces that I hadn't gone through and just threw those in with what I wanted and picked them up so i don't know how much value that has it's technically uh five percent gold i guess is 120 gold filled um but i don't think anybody around me buys buys scrap gold filled both the chain and the uh the cross on there but it's kind of neat so i'll probably set that aside and hang on to it and then uh these earrings are pretty neat they actually have a good bit of weight i believe they're solid here they're not hollow as far as I can tell they're definitely older and you really can't see it all that well but where they're marked it says Milor M-I-L-O-R 585 Italy not sure if you can see that there but that for those of you that may not know, is 14 karat 585. Um, so those were a really good find. I paid 50 cents for the two of those. So altogether, again, $17 on the jewelry. To uh, show you, I'm going to weigh the 10 karat, which is 
these two pieces. Um, they won't really weigh on their own on this scale, but they're only about, let's see, just shut off, but they're only about two grams, so not a ton of value there, but uh, gold's gold, so we're going to take it. They don't weigh because it doesn't weigh really small quantities. I need to get a gram scale, but don't have one yet. Then the rest of this is 14 carat. And these two stones came out of a one of those sets of earrings. I actually just pulled it apart because they had a little bit of weight to them and they're just junk. So I wanted to get a better idea how much gold was actually there. You can see there's 12 grams of 14 carat. And then on the silver, there's quite a bit here. Get it back to zero. And the silver is mixed in with a little bit more stones and stuff, so the, the value of that will be a little bit less, but not too bad. And in total, there is 158 grams of sterling silver. So for 17 bucks, that's a pretty awesome pickup. I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, and the rest of the stuff is not great, but in total, I might make 40 or 50 bucks off of that and then obviously the jewelry is uh, probably worth somewhere around $300 depending on what spot price is moved to and what kind of scrap rate uh, I end up getting although I'll keep most of this for a while um, and just keep kind of building it up especially when I only have $17 wrapped up in it it's worth hanging on to. I don't need to get rid of it right away. So if the eBay stuff can pay for all the jewelry and I can save that for a rainy day and kind of build up from here, then that's what I will do. Um, thanks for watching and giving it a look. I hope that uh, people see this and realize that, you know, for a couple of days of yard sailing, you can make a good amount of money on the side. I also do eBay uh, quite a bit. So I'm, I'm used to that, but it's pretty easy to set up. And then you can do Craigslist and stuff like that for larger items and make some extra money on the side. But overall, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. And this kind of jewelry is just another thing that a lot of uh, pickers that I've noticed kind of tend to stay away from. A lot of people feel awkward going through jewelry and stuff like that, but there's quite a good... Uh, good little bit of money in it and you never know this is all from two sales and 17 bucks so that's pretty pretty good haul for a weekend right there considering most of the other sales didn't have too much stuff that I was interested in flipping so overall I did did pretty well and I'm I'm very pleased so thank you all for giving the video a watch and I hope you enjoy it